Good morning, peeps. So today we are actually going to the Zest Cafe for breakfast. Um, walking on my bike right now. My bike is actually parked in this. Uh, it's actually parked outside the owner's house. I'm going to show you where that is. First of all, the location is next level. The um, uh, the view in the morning is just brilliant. I'm going to show you all that throughout the vlog. Um, love this way. This way, this way, this way. So, we're actually right now walking to the bike. Get onto the bike. I need to fill some fuel. And we'll go and have breakfast at the Zest Cafe. Um, I've got a meeting in the afternoon. I'm going to finish that. And uh, I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog. Um, because that hasn't been edited yet. Um, it's going to rain. When I woke up in the morning, there were like thunderstorms. Um, it, it was just thunder actually, there, you know, there was no rain in the morning, but um, the forecast does say it's going to rain now in Goa. Um, yeah, quite excited. Uh, we've got another nine days. That's the bike over here. So let's go. Zest Cafe was closed. We couldn't um, get a breakfast over there. I was really looking forward to have a nice good vegan breakfast with some avocado and oats and all these other things. However, um, we've succumbed to some <laughs> very unhealthy breakfast, but I'm sure it's going to taste nice. We've come to this place called the Titanic Cafe at the Oat Beach Resort. That's what our breakfast you know, looks like, and that's the view. Say hi there, we love. Hi. We've actually changed hotels. That's um, because of the Wi-Fi. I need to work, and um, I, I I just couldn't use the Wi-Fi in the last hotel. The, although the view was fantastic, but I couldn't use um, I couldn't get onto my Zoom call, so um, we had to change hotels. Um, we're actually staying at the same hotel that we ate breakfast at. Um, the rooms over here were quite reasonable and it is um, right on the beach. So we don't really lose too much with regards to the view. And um, yeah, having internet was a top priority for me because if I don't have internet, I'm not going to be able to work, which means that I obviously can't afford all of this if I don't work. So. Uh, uh, Love the Palalim beach. I've actually come down to the to the beach right now. Oh, it's the first time I'm touching the water in Goa.
Okay, so if you remember, I was talking about this red light on my uh, dashboard, which was indicating a error code for um, um, on the Harley Davidson. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly um, show you guys how to firstly check for error codes and um, also to be able to not get so stressed out when you have, have a, um, you know, a, a red light on your dashboard. So to begin with, you would hold your trip meter and turn the ignition. You would get a diagnostic over here. Now you could scroll through the diagnostic. ECM N means no. BCM Y, that's the error that I'm getting. Speedo N means no. You can scroll through all the error codes, um, sorry, error categories. Now, if you want to see the error code, you would hold down. And now you're going to see the codes. So B2150, B2156, B2158, B2163, B2168. And those are all the error codes. Now, I'm going to tell you what this code is actually for. So if I, I know that this code is actually because of the lights. So I've turned on my parking lights and you would see that the two parking lights are actually working in the front. But there's only one parking light working in the back. So the right indicator is actually gone and that error code all the codes that are over there are actually indicating that um, this particular uh, you know right indicator is not working so yeah uh, the Harley Davidson is is built <laughs> as strong as steel um, uh, that, that, that's actually a bad comparison but um, it is it is built very very strong so um, you don't need to stress about it just ride um, yeah, that's that's that. I hope there was something that you all guys could learn of this today. Had a very good first day. The first day went very well. We've actually spent um, a good time um, working, getting getting stuff done for work, uh, which was very important for me. Um, the internet finally works, so uh, I'm, my meeting went flawlessly. Um, besides that, the sun setting behind is just looking fantastic. Palalim Beach is just next level. Um, I'm actually going to be walking around to get some dinner in. Um, feeling very hungry. And um, yeah, today's day has ended. It's going to be... Um, uh, we're going to be doing day... Three tomorrow? How many days of the vlog is on? I can't even remember. Um, but yeah, uh, besides that, um, uh, fantastic day. Completely enjoying myself here in Goa. Had like a um, really nice dinner. What we actually did was we've, um, we ate a starter and a few beers at one restaurant. Then we went and um, had some uh, main course at another restaurant and um, there's just so many shacks available over here at Paralim that it just made sense to do you know, something just like that. Um, today's day three, uh, actually today's uh, day four of the vlog and um, uh, what's really fantastic is I'm just enjoying doing this. Uh, I've got very good feedback from all my brothers and um, they've, they've actually been very candid about how they feel and what they feel I should improve in. And um, um, yeah, I, I hope to actually make those changes. It's uh, overall a great experience. And um, yeah, I'm going to catch you all guys tomorrow.